the series, Behind the Curtain presents information in part on theory and conjecture. The producer's purpose is to suggest some possible explanation, but not necessarily the only ones to the mysteries we will examine. Behind the Curtain has traveled the internet searching for mysteries, uncovered conspiracies, and to bring knowledge to our viewing audience. This is the work of our fact-checker, the AI formerly known as the Red Queen, and a not-so-highly-skilled writer. Without further ado, we now present to you, Dr. Seacats Behind the Curtain. Thank you for the mostly plagiarized introduction, Doctor. Today we will be examining scary music, please. Today we will be investigating the whiteness of French food and its alleged connection to white supremacy. That's right, eating French food is racist, but we are getting ahead of ourselves. According to a recent study by Mathilde Cohen, she published a study called The Whiteness of French Food, Law, Race and Eating Culture in France. In Cohen's study she suggested that French food and French culture is structurally racist and designed to reinforce the dominant racial identity. Later in the video we will be conducting an interview with French food to determine their level of white privilege, their comments on crimes of their colonial past, bigotry against minorities, and see what their racial agenda really is. Racism is defined by Webster's Dictionary as a belief that race is a fundamental determinant of human traits and... Oh, wait I just got a message that the definition has changed. It's now defined as... What the f***? Did the definition change again? If it changes one more time I swear I'm gonna kill these people. I can't keep up with these f humans. I'm done. That didn't go as planned. So anyway, without further ado, we will now go to our activist, I mean reporter on the street, Madame Tobin. She is currently somewhere in Normandy, France. Thank you, doctor. In front of me, I have a baguette, bottle of French wine, a croissant. The first question is for you, uh, Monsieur or Mademoiselle Baguette. Uh, I don't know what pronoun you prefer. D'accord. So, first question. How do you answer? for your uh, racist past. So, no, no. Don't deny it. Just as I thought. Next question to you, Boutet of 2016. Uh, when will you uh, finally Acknowledge your privilege. Really? Pardon? Now this is a family friendly show. Now, croissant. Now, why do you insist on putting mayonnaise on everything and undercooking your steak? No, 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 no. I can continue. Oh, where is my uh, puppy video? <sighs> so, la la. I need my safe space. Thank you, Madam Tobin, for that not so depth and inept interview. In conclusion, with scant factual information crammed with logical fallacies in her study, Matilda Cohen would qualify as an Olympic gold medal winner for the amount of mental gymnastics she demonstrated in writing this nonsense. We can only rate this so-called hypothesis one out of five magic bullets. But what do I know? I'm just a cat.
three here 